We welcome you to Sletskill Coliseum on the campus of Oregon State University. We're set and ready for Back 10 Women's Volleyball, the 13th ranked Washington Huskies, and the Oregon State Beavers. Hi again, everybody, and welcome along with Mike Dodd. I'm Chris Marlowe. Great volleyball matchup for you. Been a kooky season for Washington. They won their first 11, then lost four in a row before winning at Oregon the other night. This is a very good team that has a dynamic outside hitter, Sonia Tomasevic. One of the best players in the country, but Sonia Tomasevic, talking to Jim McLaughlin, she's a little banged up. She's got a pulled ligament in her foot. She got 96 attempts against UCLA last week. The shoulders, the wings a little sore right now. Yeah, Oregon State is a good team also. The Beavers are 12 and six. This is a big match for them. And they recently got good news. One of their injured players came back unexpectedly, Ann Watts Roberts. Ann Watts Roberts, at the start of the year, Chris, she was MVP in the first preseason tournament. She's been out for nine matches. She finally came back. She's got that back ailment that kind of comes in, comes out. You're never sure if she's going to be able to answer the bell. But she's came out great last night, and we'll see what happens tonight. All right, two outstanding volleyball teams that hope to challenge for the top of the Pac-10 Conference and the NCAA Burst. We'll have the Beavers and the Huskies coming up next. Slatsgill Coliseum getting ready for Pac-10 women's volleyball, a Northwest matchup between the 13th ranked Washington Huskies and the Oregon State Beavers. Let's take a look at the Washington starting lineup. Caitlin Leck starts opposite or on the right. Bree Haggerty, Sonia Tomasovic are the outside hitters. Darla Myrie who's playing very well now. Pure Kara Bjorklund start in the middle. Courtney Thompson is the setter. Our head coach is Jim McLaughlin. He's assisted by Pat Stangle and Leslie Tuiasasopo. Ann Watts Roberts starts on the right side. Kara Rhodes, Allison Lawrence, Brittany Cahoon, Eggert Collins, and Casey Frederick, the starters. So we're underway. I tell you, they're anxious to get this uh, match going, Mike Dodd. Washington wearing the purple uniforms. And Oregon State in the home whites. And tipping it over is the center, Courtney Thompson, a 5'8 freshman from Kent, Washington. Nancy Samara, the coach for Oregon State, is in her fifth year. 2001, she led the Beavers to the NCAA tournament for the second time ever. She's an outstanding coach. Tomasevich, first serve, OB, point. And Chris, that's one of the trademarks of Washington. They really go for it with the jump serves. Washington, a big serving team. Oregon State, an outstanding digging team. And that serve right back at you, hitting it out was Allison Lawrence. So Allison Lawrence, service error. First four games are to 30 points. The fifth and final game if necessary to 15. It's point per play, rally scoring all the way. 2-1 the Huskies as we start play. And that's another service error. So three service errors in a row. What's the old rule if you serve out, the next one's got to serve it in? It's a good rule that we used to live by, Chris, but I think in the modern era of jump serving. Brittany Cahoon had the serve and a pretty good set and spike. Darla Myrie puts it away. She's a sophomore from Victoria, British Columbia, Canada. And here you're going to see Courtney Thompson with a sweet little flare set to the outside. Mary just beating it cross court. Courtney Thompson, a freshman, running this uh, Husky team, ranked 13th in the nation. Good back set, Huskies with a dig. 3-2 Huskies, free ball. Beavers on the attack. Back set, yes. A beautiful set by Laura Collins, and the put away by Amanda Eggert. And this is what Oregon State's gonna have to do, Chris. They're gonna have to rally with Washington and put balls away in transition. You would say the longer the rally goes, the better for Oregon State. A tremendous digging team. I believe they had 94 digs the other night. Washington, more of a termination team. Free ball, Washington. Into the middle. 
And quickly, Darla Myrie, the Huskies' top percentage hitter, hitting 447. And Chris Courtney Thompson, just a freshman, but she figures it out early to negate that defense, run the middle. Set to serve is Bree Haggerty. And a nice pass. Back set. And a pretty good dig back there by Thompson. Thompson, 5'8", from Kent, Washington. Collins, back set. Oh, tell you, that got a hammer on the right side. Amanda Eggert, they list her at 6'4", a junior from Portland, Oregon. And she runs that one-legged swing to the right side so well, this time ripping it down the line, mixing it up well, hitting cross court and down the line. Kara Rhodes, sophomore from Burlington, Colorado, serves it into the bottom of the net. So Rhodes and Lawrence, the outside hitters, they figure to get a lot of work for Oregon State. Substitution, uh, Libba Lawrence comes in, senior from West Lynn, Oregon. An outstanding digger, she'll serve it. 5-4 Huskies. They'll set Lawrence again. And really, this may be the key for Oregon State. Can Lawrence, number 22, can Rhodes, number three, put the ball away on the left? And as long as Lawrence has her teammates covering her from behind, She's gonna get that extra swing, and here she's gonna find the opening in the block. 5-5 five, five our score. Thompson, a nice quick set to Kara Bjorklund, one of the only seniors on this Washington team. Bjorklund from Olympia, Washington. She lowers the hammer, UW up 6-5. Just the start of our coverage on Fox Sports Northwest. Glad you're with us. I'm Chris Marlowe with Mike Dodd. Washington on the attack, and tipping it down was Caitlin Leck. And Caitlin Leck is so effective from that right side at the 10-foot line. Here she's just gonna do a little tap down in the middle. Players dug in for the heat. She takes a little off it. First kill for Leck. Playing out of the left back, or the right back, I should say. Ball socked up, 7-5, Huskies. Freebie coming. Collins tried to tip it over. And down the line, running the inside two, and the first kill, for Sonia Tomasevic, playing with the sore right arm. Hitting 90 balls against UCLA will do it to you. 8-5. And yes, apparently that's an ace. Yes. <laughs> Little late call there. So make it 9-5. Washington's record 12-4, 3-4 in Pac-10. They started 11-0. They have a win at Wisconsin, their most impressive win so far. And the high flyer. Oh, I like the look of Allison Lawrence. Not tall, but she leaps. Gets up and just beats it, trying to take advantage of Courtney Cox there on the outside. Courtney Thompson, excuse me, just hitting it down the line. Where's Courtney Cox? <laughs> She's on friends. If Courtney Cox is in this matchup, show me where she is. Is she in the left front or the middle back? Once again, a quick set. Courtney Thompson looks like she's very comfortable setting the quick. And slammed up. Boy, I like Courtney Thompson. You know, Jim McLaughlin telling me before the match, you know, when we recruited her, a lot of people said she was too small, but she's a winner. She's a competitor. She's a hustler. And I want someone that can run the team. Three-time state champion here in Washington in high school. She knows how to win. 10-6 our score. Collins back set. Lawrence was blocked. We'll set Rhodes and double contact. Let's introduce our number one referee, the big man up top, Mickey Matthews. There's Mickey. Mickey Matthews, our referee. And Rusty Wellman, his dad, Rusty Wellman. All right, 11 to six, our score. And spiking was our touch. Yeah, got a, got a little bit of a touch there. And Watts Roberts just hitting high off the block. Oregon State's gonna need a big match for man here tonight. Watts Roberts, a uh, Australian. We'll detail her injury in a moment when we get her back. Great dig in the backcourt by Casey Frederick. Whip it over to Rhodes, and Rhodes pounds it cross court. Rhodes with a kill. And Chris, great defense for Oregon State. But even better is the set from Laura Collins in transition. Got a beauty out there. It's given Rhodes a perfect spot to hit on three cross court. 11 8 our score. Substitution back in is Darla Myrie. 
12 8 with that point, and now set to serve Kara Bjorklund. Bjorklund set to jump it up. Nice pass, Frederick. Big smacker. And the spike got a touch. Allison Lawrence hitting out of the backcourt. Chris picking up another touch off the block. Oregon State doing very well right now, hitting high off the block of Washington. And sometimes that can be a, a planned play by the hitter, can it? Absolutely. Substitution, here comes Michelle Franz, a freshman from Carmichael, California. She'll serve on the ground floater. Pretty good pass. Boy, they run that low shoot set. Do you like the idea of setting that fast uh, hut set to the outside, Mike? Yeah, I love it, okay. especially the way Brazil used to run it. They just get it out there quick. Outside blocker unable to set up, just ripping it down the line. So Courtney Thompson will serve the pride of Kent Lake High School. And she rips it. And the point. Got to make a point here. Ari Selinger, the former coach of the U.S. Uh, women's Olympic team back in 1984 once told me, the jump serve will never work in women's volleyball because they don't jump high enough. This was in 1988, I believe he told me this. Since then, it's become really prevalent in women's volleyball. Oh my goodness. It's a big weapon. Thompson again, and she rips the ace in your face, Ari Selinger. Take that, Ari. <laughs> Second ace. Courtney Thompson just ripping this ball down the middle. Miscommunication on the part of Oregon State. All right, our first timeout. The Washington Huskies utilizing the serve of Courtney Thompson up 15-9. Back to the action. 15-9 our score. And the block. Caitlin Leck got the rejection aided by Darla Myrie. Pretty tall Washington team. And Caitlin Leck right side hitting and blocking. She adds that extra dimension of height out there on the right side. Big blast, and that one's not coming back. Amanda Eggert. Eggert coming off a terrible match for her. She had nine kills, but she hit .065. She looks a lot better than that. She's just ripping that ball yeah, off sure one is. leg on the right side. Oregon State, service reception very well. Yeah. Washington just doing a lot of soft blocking and defensive transition right now. Back set. And through the block. Interestingly, before the match, Jim McLaughlin, the head coach for Washington, he told us that digging was more important than blocking in terms of statistics. And, and uh, that's an interesting point. And there you're going to see Bree Haggerty keeping the ball away from the digging of uh, Oregon State with the right side rip. Once again, Eggert going down the line and taking a rip. Now, if you were a digger, that would have been important because you would have dug that ball up <laughs> since the block didn't block it. Yep. Here's Kara Rhodes, 204 kills a year ago, hit just 153. She's kind of erratic. Good athletic talent. Uh, emotional player. But sometimes up and down. Into the middle. Eggert tries to jam it. Can't. Eggert behind her. Rhodes digs it up. And down the line, missing was Lawrence. That's something that's plagued the outside hitters for Oregon State, hitting the ball out of bounds. And it's something that's really frustrated head coach Nancy Samara. She says, we're playing such good defense. If you don't have a great swing on it, instead of hitting the ball out, keep it in and let our defense do the talking. 18 to 11 our score. Back set, and once again, it's Egger. Automatic Amanda putting it down. So so, Chris, they're working the right side 
Yeah, Sonia Tomasovic getting tooled out there. She's had three or four swings. She's dinked every time. We got to keep our eye right now on Sonia Tomasovic. I haven't seen her swing yet. Hasn't got a big spike off. Working the middle, and I love the way Courtney Thompson, you know, in the old days, they used to tell setters back in the day, set the middle until they stop it, and that's what Thompson's doing. And Chris, that's also what makes their outside set so effective. She's setting up the middle, and now she's going to freeze the middle blocker and shoot the ball to the outside. 19-12, Oregon State, that's going to be a spiking error by Brittany Cahoon, and make it 20-12. to So game one going fast, and Oregon State Passing well, but making errors, and Washington is doing a good job putting the pressure on. And that is a service winner for Caitlin Leck, the junior from Carson City, Nevada. Timeout, Oregon State. So the Beavers struggling right now. We're in game one. The Huskies leading by nine. Jim McLaughlin, the 2002 Pac-10 Coach of the Year at Southern Cal. He won a national championship in 1997 years, but he's also coached women at Kansas State. He continued uh, the great work at that program, four NCAA tournaments. And a little bit earlier, we asked him the difference between coaching men and women. This is what he said. I like it. I like the women's game because it's a bigger game. They take care of the athletes better, take care of the coaches better. But uh, it's the same game teaching. Jim McLaughlin, he was a setter at UC Santa Barbara and widely regarded as one of the best young coaches in America. And I like the way that he says he likes it because they take care of the coaches yeah, better. Yeah, he gets paid for <laughs> is, is what he was trying to say, exactly. wasn't he, Mike? Pretty good block at the net by Washington, 22-12. Right now, Kara Borkland is just doing a marvelous job getting to the outside and really piking over the net. Set to serve is Caitlin Leck. Leck getting a lot of playing time this year, hitting 266, about what she hit last year. And Oregon State's out of rotation. Out of rotation. Six players rotating around in a circle, and there was an overlap. Nancy Samara going to talk to Rusty Wellman and see what was going on. Cost her team a point. So 23 to 12, a shellacking going on here in game one. Washington looks like one of the top teams in America, which they are. Left side, Lawrence dug up. Nice play by Candace Lee and the put away. Candace Lee in the white jersey is the libero for Washington, and she is outstanding. A great digger and an outstanding passer. There's Candace, all Pac-10 freshman team. Almost four digs per game, which is outstanding. Free ball. Huskies, quick set again. So Courtney Thompson just running the quick and Chris, quick, 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 quick. The Caitlin Leck jump serve continues yep. to put Oregon State in difficulty and Washington just free ball transitioning at will right now. Huskies running smooth and Leck serves one wide. That costs her a point. Now checking back in will be Ann Watts Roberts, the Australian. Here comes Watts Roberts. She hails from Kangaroo Flat, Victoria, Australia. Hitting 369 when she went out to injury, but now she's back. Set left, a quick shoot. Here goes Lawrence on the run. Nice up by Candace. Tip. And if you know her arm hurts, should you be playing for the tip? You should be playing for the tip. Sonia Tomasevich still has yet to really unload on one. And again, Sonia just kind of finding the open area right there. The rest of her team is playing great. They're running the middle great, so she doesn't have to take a lot of swings right now. Washington had doubled up at 26-13. There's a beautiful hit by Roberts, who might be the left side player, but they're using her opposite. And this, this is what Oregon State needs. They need Ann Watts Roberts to catch a little fire. And maybe right now, they're really down in game one. Get a little momentum to go into game two. 
Perfect pass. Thompson and the put away. Boy, I like the way number three in purple Thompson is setting this offense. Back forwards, quick sets. Look at this. She gets one on one. She's just mixing it up so well right now, Chris. She's running the middle, setting up the middle blockers, and then going quick to the outsides. Yeah, they're getting good passes too, which really helps. Left side spike out by Bree Haggerty. Haggerty, a sophomore transfer that played at Ohio State from Defiance, Ohio. 26-16 as Oregon State tries to catch up. Thompson over the top. Off speed, popped up by the Huskies. Collins, quick set, yes. Michelle France getting the kill. And Washington takes time out. So Jim McLaughlin's Huskies call time out. Our score, 26-17, game one. Huskies are ahead. Chris Marlowe and Mike Dodd back at Slatsgill Coliseum. Game one, Washington is ahead. The head coach for Oregon State, Nancy Samara, she took over 99 after spending the previous eight years as a USC assistant. She's one of the great players in USC history, the USC record holder for career and single season aces. A tremendous server, and she was a sensational digger, and her team really has that character, they digging in aces. They kind of carry on with her coach. I think. Uh, they would be a lot better if a lot of them could jump serve as well as Nancy did in her prime at USC. Well, they don't, she and she has a that. relatively small team. For Pac-10 standards, this is a very short ball club. It's amazing they're doing as well as they are. They don't have the, the height of some of the teams, USC, UCLA, Arizona, some of the, some of the schools, California. And especially USC. It doesn't get any bigger than the, than the women of Troy right now. Certainly doesn't. Here's but another rip down the line for Ann Watt. Into the middle and still unable to stop the quick set is Oregon State. So continuing to run it, Thompson. Getting the kill, Darla Myrie. Second best hitter in the Pac-10, Darla. 28-18, Washington two points away from winning game one. Nice pass by Rhodes. And there's a nice play. Swinging into the middle to Roberts. It's a great play using Amanda Eckert as a decoy with the swing on the right side. Opened up the middle for Ann Watts. Roberts again. So set to serve is Caitlin Healy in there now. Healy, a sophomore from Portland, Oregon. She can play a couple of different positions. Again, quick set again, and this is going to force Oregon State to, to take that play away. you got to start jumping with that, don't well, you think? Well, it's going to force Oregon State to take a few more risks in their serves as well. You've got to serve a little bit tougher right now. Washington passing every ball on a dime. 29-19 on the scoreboard out here. And that's a lift. And that's going to do it for game one. Game one, that makes 30 for the Washington Huskies. So the Huskies look very, very impression. Im impre Im impressive. <laughs> yes, they do. They win game one, 30 to 19. Chris Marlowe and Mike Dodd, Washington winning game one, 30 to 19. Ann Watts Roberts was the star for Oregon State, but she just couldn't do it alone, Mike Dodd. She put the ball down, she had four kills. She was the story. A little bit earlier, we asked her teammate, Allison Lawrence, what about Ann Watts Roberts coming back to the team? How much does it mean? 
It helps a lot just because she's so experienced and so, um, I don't know, knowledgeable about her role and she's very, um, she helps us relax, I think, definitely, and she's just a solid player. And Chris, Ann Watts Roberts in her native Australia was the last player cut from her national team before the Olympics. She missed the Olympics in Sydney by just one spot. So Ann Watts Roberts, I know how that feels to get cut you from were, an Olympic team. Well, yes. You were close right there at the end in 1984. I was as close as you could have been. <laughs> Ann Watts Roberts. So Oregon State, the two teams have switched sides. First thing, if I'm the coach, if I'm Nancy Samara, you got to stop that quick attack. Start putting the ball down a little bit, like that. Get a kill. You look at the statistics, uh, look at the hitting percentages. It was 40% to 29 as Oregon State takes the early lead. So Oregon State middle blockers got a key on that middle right now. Down the line, the little tappy, the best hit yet for Sonia Tomasevic. There are the stats, 46 to 26, that'll get it done. Well, there's just so such a high percentage right now coming out of the middle right now. Yep. Of the uh, 17 UW kills, I would bet uh, eight of them came out of the middle. He uses 40% to the left, 20% uh, to the back, and maybe, uh, you know, 10 or 20% in the middle. Courtney Thompson is just mixing it up so well. Freshman, poised setter. Yeah, look at the passes she's getting. She's getting perfect passes. And that ball's gonna drop. So the Beavers get a break. Rhodes was right there, Kara Rhodes. Uh, Colorado 3A Player of the Year as a prep. And Chris, sometimes it's those little breaks that yeah. get you going in the right direction. Three to one, our score. I don't think that ball came over. And Mickey Matthews agrees. And Chris, not only didn't it come over, but Amanda Eggert was right on that quick set that time. They're almost committing to the quick set early, and I think it's a good strategy right now. Yeah. Take away the middle at all costs. Take away something. Yeah. Thompson sets back, and a pancake right into the bottom of the net. Michelle Franz had one hand on it. Now, coming in for Washington, Darla Myrie. Myrie in game one had three blocks. Three stuff blocks, so she is dangerous. Game two, 4-2, Oregon State. Serving as Bjorklund. Perfect pass, Collins. Nice up, Candace Lee. What else you got? Oh, and Tomasevich. She's a junior from Yugoslavia, 413 kills a year ago. Chris, this is vintage Washington. Candace Lee with the defensive play. Courtney just making a sweet little low set to Tomasevich out of the back row. Great transition scoring. Huskies pulled it within one. Cross court, Rhodes is dug. Pounding it through. Bree Haggerty. Haggerty with the heavy lumber. And Washington's got all the big hitters on the outside. And then you put that with good coverage on their defensive side. It's a tough combination. And, uh, and uh, Washington's right back in it at four all. Bjorkland serving. And a nice cross court shot by Kara Rhodes. Her dad was a wrestler. Her mom was a softball player at Western State where they met. Rhodes, a good digger, had 12 digs the other night. Trying to get her hitting act. She's only a sophomore. And she's got a nice little beach play right yeah. here, a little cut shot. High four Beavers until that play. Smacking it through Haggerty. Jim McLaughlin, Washington coach, told us before the match the two most important position in women's volleyball, you have to have two stars as your left outside hitters. Why, Mike Dodd? When your left outside hitters win the matchup when they're scoring points off that left side. You're gonna have a lot of sets going to the left side. The left side players that win the match that have the better statistics, almost always you end up winning the match. I think he said if you win serve-receive and win the battle of the left outside hitters, you win 100% of your matches. But Coach McLaughlin said a lot. He talked a lot about defense. He talked about left side playing and uh, a lot of interesting philosophies. Rhodes will serve. Pretty good pass by Tomasevic. Left hand spear job. Collins bump it up. Remember, Leperos cannot hit. Candace Lee, diving save. Lack with the drive. 
How about Caitlin Lack, but give an assist to Candy Lee sliding in. Caitlin Lack with the one arm, one foot takeoff, slice, playing so well this weekend. 6-6 six, six our score. Collins, Lee sniffed that out right away. Left tip. Socked up and over and out. Chris Caitlin Leck continues to be the money player, hitting percentage so high. 7 6 Huskies. Huskies won game 130 to 19. And punching it through. Amanda Eggert has been the hitting star so far for the Beefs. By far the most effective play so far tonight for Oregon State is that back slide with the one leg takeoff for Amanda Eggert. 7 7. Nice pass. Set left, Lawrence. Leck. Ooh. Leck. Not yet, Beaver's playing good defense. Remember we said the longer the rally goes, the better for Oregon State, and that's part of that philosophy is dig the ball, cover the ball, keep it in play. And so far, Oregon State showing much better patience out here. When they don't have the good set, they're keeping the ball in play and letting their defense do the work. Nice pass, Candace Lee. Are you surprised that Oregon State is serving Candace Lee? She's passed every ball perfectly. Candace Lee is moving so well back there right now. Uh, Oregon State just has to serve tougher all the way around. They have to keep the ball away from Candace Lee. They have to serve tougher to the outside hitting positions, make the uh, Washington players pass, then go out and hit. Serving Courtney Thompson. Set left, Lawrence, nice up. Lawrence, nice up. Tomasevich, Rhodes, nice up. Tip, that's going down. Michelle Franz got to take a peek. She did. She gets the kill. In the backside slide, open area dink. Oregon State continues to rally. Just rally with Washington. Keep ourselves in it. And that's what Oregon State is doing much better here in game two. Mickey Lawrence uh, discussing something with Sonia Tomasevich. And they seem to have it worked out. And set to serve is Laura Collins, a senior from Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Pretty good looking setter. Under the net and the kill. Well, I tell you what, Washington's hitting percentage. Washington, the fifth best team in the nation, I believe I saw that stat uh, in terms of hitting percentage. USC leads the Pac-10. But they must be hitting at a very high percentage right now because most of the balls are not coming back. Over the top, Tomasevich says, set me. She's got it, and she's rejected. So a nice stuff block right in the middle of it, Franz. And that's another thing that Oregon State needs a few more of here in game two. Get up, get over the net, and penetrate. Here, Tomasevich tries to go cross court. Nice takeaway. And the serve is long. Oregon State uh, now tied up 10-10. Pac-10 Women's Volleyball on Fox Sports Northwest here at Slats Gill Coliseum. Perfect hit. You were a basketball player. Did you ever play a basketball game in here? Mike Dunn? Never played a basketball game here. But Ann Watts, Ann Watts Roberts coming in for a quick set behind. Oregon State starting to do a lot of nice little things much better offensively. Pretty good block there by Rhodes. Another dig by Lawrence. And Lawrence puts it away. Allison Lawrence coming alive. Allison Lawrence out of the back row. Laura Collins giving her a nice little two set there in the middle. Nice play in transition. Beaver, Feed your back row hitters. Beavers have their first two point lead of the match. Now it's a one point lead as Haggerty rips one through. And again, Courtney Thompson making the right choices at the net. This time, watch her set up the middle blocker, gets the little hop outside all alone, ripping it down the line. Bree Haggerty brings a lot of force to that outside hitting position. 12-11.
Oregon State. Collins too low. Slam dump, no. Picked up by Frederick. Candace Lee on the dive. Another long rally. Will Oregon State win it? Yes, they will. The formula is there. The Mike Dodd formula. <laughs> Dig the ball, rally the ball. And show the experience in transition. Go to your experienced player here. Well inside, well off the net. What does Ann Watts Roberts do? She takes a little bit off it. Cut shot on the line. Big point in transition. Caitlin Healy in to serve. She's got the jump floater. Perfect pass. Oregon State jumping in the middle now, so they've taken away some of those easy quick sets and forcing Washington to go outside. It's been good strategy so far. Back in is Caitlin Leck. We should tell you that uh, Oregon State not using Ann Watts Roberts in the backcourt because they don't want her to dive for a ball and hurt her back. So she's just playing in the front line. 13 12 Beavers. Eggert is blocked. Lawrence is dug. Coming around the horn, Eggert, no, they go left to Rhodes. And Kara Rhodes. Chris, it's all about patience right now, and Oregon State is showing patience throughout these rallies. Finally getting a good setup out there, a little dink shot. Another big point in transition. 14-12. Quick set, soft block. Left side, Lawrence. Thompson. Leck. Nice up in the back line. Rhodes got another dig. Thompson back set. And it did not come over, and Oregon State has its first three point lead of the match. They continue to scrap defensively, play after play, putting the pressure on Washington. We're coming back to Slats Gill Coliseum. Huskies won game one, but the Beavers looking good here in game two. Chris Marlowe and Mike Dodd. Pac-10 women's volleyball from the great Northwest. We're here on the campus of Oregon State University and Nancy Samara has her Beavers coming here. Nancy assisted by her husband, Ben Samara, right next to her and Michael Seaman, 15-12. What has OSU done in this game? They've Quick. been patient okay. offensively and they've been taking away the middle. Huskies wearing purple. And serving strategically. They said they would like to uh, as you look at Washington leading the match in kills, but Oregon State catching up. Nancy Samara talked about serving the hitter if she could. Trying to back him up. That's a bad pass. That's a good hit. Bree Haggerty. Now, Bree Haggerty, Haggerty just hits a heavy ball, yeah. Chris. Big, strong player. And Coach McLaughlin loves that she's starting to learn to be patient on the outside. Doesn't have to bomb every time. Haggerty with a big jump serve. Going to get it is Collins. Lawrence rejected. Darla Myrie. Myrie. Getting big on the outside here. Let's watch Darla press over with that left arm. And that's key for a good middle blocker. Washington. And Chris Sonia Tomasevich continues to just move the ball around, dink, and find the open spots. So smooth. And Oregon State going to take a quick timeout. So the Beavers led 15 to 12, but Washington, after a timeout, coming back. 16 15, our score.
59th meeting all time between these two schools. Washington leads it, 35 wins to 22 losses. Washington won both a year ago. Oregon State won twice in 2001. Chris Marlowe, Mike Dodd, Washington leads the match one game to none. Washington appears to have a bigger, stronger, more physical team, but Oregon State hanging right in there, especially here in game two. The Beavers able to take away some of the middle spikes and play great defense. Here we just see a little mental lapse for Oregon State there in transition, bumping over on one. Sonia Tomasovic taking advantage. Haggerty's serve has been a factor. Collins, Eggert. Amanda Eggert. So Laura Collins been feeding the ball to the outside a lot, Chris. I think she's got to continue to run this ball to Amanda until she stopped. She's putting every ball away on that right side. Quick set. Eggert will serve. And pumping it through is Sonia Tomasovic. So back to serve will be Courtney Thompson. Thompson, interestingly, we mentioned she was the player, excuse me, this is Libba Lawrence. Libba Lawrence, the Courtney Thompson lookalike, at least in height. 5'8 and 5'8. Lawrence will serve a shorty. 17 all. And Rhodes with the delivery. Her best hit in the match, Kara Rhodes. Kara yeah, Rhodes liked that one. She brought a lot of heat there from the 10 foot line. Nice little set here in the middle. Oregon State having a lot of success running that 10 foot line set out of the middle right now in transition and in service received. Nice dig, Frederick. And smacking it home is Ann Watts Roberts. Vintage Oregon State. Frederick, great control defensive play over to Watts Roberts in transition. Big point for Oregon State. Get their confidence back up. 1917. Beavers hanging on to a two point lead. Doing a little bit better job of blocking, too. Look out below to Masovic. To Masovic. Sonja's starting to heat up a little bit on the outside. She's getting to Courtney Thompson wisely starting to feed her a few balls. 1918 now. This is where Washington made its run last time with the big serving of Leck. And smacking it, Watts Roberts. She was an all Big Sky performer a couple of years ago before transferring to Oregon State. Chris, she's simply a solid, experienced volleyball player. All facets of the game. 2018, Oregon State, Tomasovic bounces one off the tape. Collins shoots it left, and Rhodes, you know, the other night, I was looking at her number, she hit negative 167 against Washington State. Four kills, seven errors but she looks like a different woman tonight. And you gotta keep feeding her as she goes, so does Oregon State. And Watts Roberts has nine kills, and the Beavers are smoking from the outside when we come back. Some of the creatures here at Slats Gill, you saw them in the end zone. The, what do they call those guys up there? The, uh, the creatures. The beaver cleavers, or whatever they are. Some friendly fellows in the end zone. I tell you, Oregon State has raised the level of its game after getting smoked in game one, 30 to 19. Beavers look like a completely different team. Keys, they're taking away the middle, they're serving tougher, and they're keeping the ball in play and transition. Good adjustments by Nancy Somera, that smack gets in there. That's in. Kara Bjorkland gets the kill. Now it's time for the freshman, Courtney Thompson, to see if she can settle her squad down, get that offense back to running smoothly, work the middle, work the outsides. Tomasovic not utilizing the jump serve. She goes to Shorty into the middle. Nice dig. Libba Lawrence. Haggerty tees off, and it's a point. 
So Haggerty gets kill number eight. She's got five in this game. She has also served very well. Tomasovic has nine kills, so those are the two big guns in the match. Nice up. Lawrence shovels it over. Rhodes and tips it out. Chris, you've got Libba Lawrence and Candace Lee playing defensive in the back row right now for Washington. They're making the difference. They're making big defensive plays, bringing Washington right back into game two. An errant tip as you look at Candace Lee, one of the great diggers in the conference. That's okay. 22 21 Beavers. Set left Haggerty. Rhodes. Dug up Lawrence. And Tomasovic. Wishes she had that one back. <laughs> Chris, you got to continue to give Oregon State credit. They're rallying, they're playing defense, and they're keeping the pressure on Washington. Serving was France. And smacking it out was Bjorklin. And one of the reasons she smacked that one out, Chris, is because Amanda Eggert was right up with her in the middle. Didn't get a stuff block, but she created havoc. So the Oregon State Beavers Lead 24-21. We're going to return and have more coverage of Pac-10 women's volleyball after these messages. Washington won game one. Beavers lead here in game two. Courtney Thompson, a year ago, she was the big cheese at Kent Lake High School. Now she's running the show here at Washington. We asked her about the difference. I could write a book about the I mean, it's so different, and I think mostly just mentally. Um, everyone that plays in the Pac-10 or is recruited there is pretty physical in some aspect or quick or whatever. Um, just the focus that you have to have the whole time and the dimensions of the game, you don't have to think about it a lot at the lower level. Courtney Thompson, besides being the Washington State Player of the Year, she was student body president and the valedictorian of her class. Probably hung out with the quarterback of the football team, don't you know? <laughs> Just a slight overachiever there. Great freshman setter. 24-22. Tip. The question is, can Oregon State close out the Husky team? A little bit more experienced. That's a nice spike by Amanda Eggert. Eggert now with eight kills. Watts Roberts has nine, the one-two punch for Oregon State. Laura Collins continuing to feed Amanda in the middle. Got a nice back set, doesn't she? Laura Collins. back set, lays it right there on a platter and Amanda knows what to do with it. Caitlin Healy with the serve. Tip, Frederick was there. Out of the back line, Lawrence. Candace Lee paws it up, Tomasovic, tip. Nice play, a little pinball defense. Thompson sets left, Haggerty, see ya. Haggerty gets one on one. She hits the ball too hard to really dig it up. Just high heat. Bree Haggerty just gonna rip this ball and it's a nice level, nice quick shoot to the outside. Not a chance for the middle blocker to arrive and close the seam. Courtney Thompson serving. Courtney with 20 aces coming into this match. She's already had two. Haggerty, stop! If you got a choice to hit at Eggert or Collins, you got to hit the ball you at rip Collins. That ball down the line. That yeah. time, yeah, Eggert's too big. That time, Amanda reaching over with that left hand, taking the angle away for a huge block, keeping Oregon State in game two. That's an ace. It's one of the ugliest plays in volleyball, <laughs> folks. I can't stand it, but it's a beauty. You love it when you're serving. Yeah. 
27-23, Oregon State. Haggerty's mad, and she rips it out of bounds. So the Huskies coming unglued a little bit here. 28-23. And continuing to serve as Rhodes. Tomasevic popped up by Healy. Set left. Lawrence has been hot. Lee popped it up. Inside comes Lawrence. And a tricky little play garners point number 29. So all of a sudden, Oregon State rallies, plays defense, rallies. Then they get a free ball and run a nice little play inside in transition. Just what they need to do to keep the Washington block off balance. First game point, and that's it. Oregon State, impressive, wins game two, 30 to 23. We are tied at one game apiece. We're going to continue. We'll have more for you right after this. Back at Gill Coliseum, we're in between games two and three. We're tied one game apiece. Chris Marlowe and Mike Dodd. You know, the Washington Huskies, a terrific ball club, 12 and four on the season, thanks to an amazing start and a potential first team all Pac-10 selection who came to UW via her home in Yugoslavia, Mike. And Chris, my buddy Jim Watson checked in at Bank of America before the dogs left for the Willamette Valley this week. She carries a significant load for us, so if you have to disrupt University of Washington, you've got to control Sonia. Tomasevic, that is, the Huskies' leading hitter, server, and presence on and off the court. Something that deserves a little attention, given that she's just in her second season on a new team, and more importantly, in a new country. Good thing her roommate's in the same boat. It's like a huge thing for us, because like we're so far away from home. And like we came here, like living for a year together. And it's just like we just became like sisters here. The leader of this sister duo is finding the American lifestyle is not the only thing she's had to adjust to. She's had to change her game as well. I'm one of the shortest over there. Like it's, it's weird. Like I'm six months and here six months is pretty good for a volleyball player. And over there, there are bigger girls, but they're, they're not as fast as here. And like, so it says that you get on the outside are really high and you have a time, plenty of time to block and stop them. And here everything is so fast and it took me for a while to adapt in this, but like, I like it. The Huskies are glad that Sonia likes it because she is a big reason that they're able to set goals by finishing in the top three in the conference. And Tomasevic has a pretty simple plan to help make that happen. Our goal like, is to improve every day, just a little. There's no little things for us and like, whether it's practice or it's a game, we just want to improve a little. Sonia's proved that is a reasonable goal. She helped the team do its best start ever, winning its first 11 matches of the season. And now the Yugoslavian import is making her way up the chart as one of the league's best and could possibly do even more. She keeps making progress, but I've always told her the better you get, the tougher it is to improve. But the great players find a way. So th there's an opportunity for her to be a great player someday. Someday seems to be right now. Jim Watson, Fox Sports Net. Chris Marlowe and Mike Dodd back at Slatsgill Coliseum. 13th ranked Washington tied up with Oregon State. And early in game one, uh, the Huskies had their attack rolling, Mike. And uh, Courtney Thompson just running, mixing things up, working the middle, shooting the balls to the outside. Oregon State tried to fight back. Got some nice plays on the left side. Lawrence and Roberts. 
Lawrence and Rhodes, I should say, but in the end, it was just too much, too much of the Huskies' attack. Or Oregon State really lost their concentration toward the end of game one, and Washington was just too big. Game two, Oregon State got off to a much better start, despite Tomasevich getting a couple early kills. Really, Oregon State's game all the way. Sonia Tomasevic started to catch fire a little bit early in game two, but Oregon State was just a completely different team. They rallied, they worked the score, and there Ann Watts Roberts just made all the big plays in transition. Between the two of them, Watts Roberts and Amanda Eggert are both hitting over 500 in the match so far. Amanda Watts Roberts and Eggert have not made a hitting error in the match so far. And Oregon State, we, we said about rallying the ball, well, they have kept the ball in play, and that's really, really helped them. And so far, Oregon State, if they're going to keep in this match, they got to continue to serve tough and keep getting the ball to their players that are so hot right now. Yeah, and the University of Washington obviously had a letdown in game two. What do you think Jim McLaughlin told them in the locker room? Well, he's probably going to tell his set or Courtney that they're starting to key on the middle. So shoot the ball more to the outsides and that will set up your middle. So the middle set up the uh, outsides in the first game and now it'll do it in the third. Very important match for both these teams. Of course, Washington can't afford to stumble. Oregon State really needs to beat a ranked team. You look at the hitting numbers. Remember after game one, Washington was hitting 46 percent. But OSU even that out. And Oregon State was around 20, and now we're all even, and uh, so is our match at 1-1. The digs about even. Aces favoring Washington. So really two separate games, two different scenarios. Okay, we're coming back. <laughs> we're getting set for the crucial game three between the Beavers and the Huskies. Washington and Oregon State uh, meeting for the first time this year. Oregon State with a record of 12 and 6, 2 and 4 in Pac-10 play. Washington 12 and 4, 3 and 4 in Pac-10 play. The Washington Huskies wearing their purple road uniforms. And a good look at Darla Myrie, one of the top players in the Pac-10, a sophomore hitting 447 this year. And now serving is Courtney Thompson. Collins shoots it left. And unable to get it by the block was Watts Roberts. She's got three names, folks. Ann, and then the last name is the hyphen at Watts Roberts. Not too bad. Good job, Chris. And Thank uh, you. Washington getting a good start here to game three. Pretty good serve there off the jump floater. Rhodes shuffles it over. Nice up, Casey Frederick. And a little looper. Off speed, the former UC Santa Barbara gaucho roll. Very nice little touch shot there for Ann Watts Roberts. Got a big block up there, do a little dink, let them come down. Nice play. Inside the block goes Haggerty. So Haggerty gets her 10th kill. And Chris, another great reception here for Candace Lee. Allison Lawrence just rips this jump serve and she passes it perfectly. Haggerty ripping it down. Set left. And Tomasevic is blocked by Watts Roberts. So the Australian stuffs the Yugoslavian. And, and the Beavers get the ball. An international special there. And there you see Ann Watts Roberts making that good move to the outside, pressing that right hand over. Big blast by Caitlin Leck. And that's a play where Kara Rhodes, maybe in a few years down the line with more experience, knows when that set is that tight, you don't take the line. You reach into the court and take that ball away. Let's see if Libba Lawrence goes to Rhodes. They had some 
passing trouble earlier in the rotation. Here comes Rhodes inside. Washington was there. Lawrence out of the back line. 4-2 Huskies. Casey pops it up. Rhodes. And give Kara the kill. And again, Oregon State showing good patience. Kara Rhodes waiting for her moment and then ripping the ball cross court. Here's a nice set to the outside. Laura Collins doing a good job right now of mixing things up for Oregon State. Rhodes with seven kills as that serve is missed. 5-3 our score. And the Huskies will serve it up. The Huskies lost four straight to Cal, Stanford, UCLA, and USC in the last two weeks. Rhodes again. And Rhodes takes a lap. Yeah, Rhodes is built. She's got some very powerful legs. She can really jump. Good, strong outside hitter. And more importantly, Chris, she likes to get the ball. Yeah. She's calling for the ball out there in transition. She's got some Mike Dodd-like hits. <laughs> Just muscle. Serve does not clear, so Kara with the bad serve. Look at, look at Rhodes. Look at those, look at those pins. Good, yeah. Strong frame. Sophomore, just a sophomore. She's gonna learning on the job. Gonna improve. Normally you don't have sophomores starting for you, but Collins got it up. Lawrence. Lawrence is a junior, if you're wondering, and down the line. Goes Haggerty, much more serious Washington team now, wouldn't you say? That's a great play for Courtney Thompson. They're laying down, giving the backhand flipper set to the outside. 7-4, game three, Huskies lead it. Now the Beavers get it back. Coming back in is Michelle Franz, who played well. Franz, the Sacramento B player of the year at Rio Americano High School. Trouble. Whoa, set outside and a beautiful dig. That was Eggert. Holy mackerel, they say big players aren't supposed to dig. Eggert gets the dig that leads of her to the career. Point. Yes. The dig is certainly of 2003. That was a beauty. 7 6. Oregon State with a couple. And snapping it through is Haggerty. So Haggerty now with 12 kills to lead all scores. Make it 8-6, Huskies. Jump serve coming, here comes Bjorklund. Nice up, kind of a lob one, and Huskies into the net. In case you missed Friday's games, USC beat Arizona State 3-0. Arizona beat UCLA 3-1. Washington beat Oregon 3-0. Oregon State top Washington State 3-1. Arizona with a big win over the Bruins. Yeah, a little bit of a surprise there. Of course, Arizona highly regarded at the top of the year. John Rubio, uh, uh, Dave Rubio squad. Got off to a really crummy start, lost some matches. Maybe now starting to round into form. With the great Kim Glass, how bad can they be? So that to be good. Washington hoping now to start to establish a little bit of dominance here in game three. Pass on the money. That set is way too tight, but tipping it over was Lawrence. It's all about helping your teammates, Chris. That time, a little tight set for Laura Collins, but Allison Lawrence making a smart little dink shot over the block for another point. Lawrence in the top 10 in kills, digs, and points in Pac-10 play, so she gets a lot of action for this team. Pretty good serve, Tomasovic got it up. How hard is it to hit that little shoot set, that fast shoot set to the outside? I used to love to hit the shoot set just because you got less time to think about it. It just comes out there and you just swing and react to the block, and that time, Caitlin Leck reacting well. 10-8. Dug up by Washington. Tomasovic, yeah. Tomasovic starting to pound away. So tit for tat earlier, and Watts Roberts gets a big block on Tomasovic on the outside, and this, uh, this time, Sonia tools her down the line. Tomasovic starting to warm up. She's got 10 kills. She had 32 in a game or in a match earlier this year. Rhodes tries to slam it. Tomasovic with the tip. Everybody's waiting for the tip now. Hard to get it down. Rhodes 
Covers herself. Rhodes down the line. Nice cover by Candace Lee. And tipping it and scoring is Tomasevich. Tomasevich with the veteran deep dink down the line. Washington starting to settle down their game a little bit, playing defense right with Oregon State. 12-8, the Huskies lead the Beavers. The match tied at 1-1. And Candace Lee is just so quiet out there on the court, but she's always in the right place defensively, setting up the play in transition for Washington. Candace Lee, great libero right now in the Pac-10. You know, Jim McLaughlin in his third year, uh, they've had an interesting group of coaches uh, come through the University of Washington. Bill Neville, the previous coach, Debbie Busey, Lindy Viva, so I know you remember, and Steve Suttich, uh, way back when, the coaching lineage here, all very uh, interesting and unusual coaches. Different group, but love Bill Neville when he was working with the national team with Doug Beal. You played under him and uh, fine coach. Well, if you're watching this game, folks, Steal yourself. Steal yourself. Sonia, 11 kills and 12 digs. Already got a double-double. Yeah. With a sore arm. Rhodes is blocked. Now, one thing Rhodes is doing, she's hitting, she's jumping high, but she's hitting low. And she's what she needs to do is go up and work off the hands, hit the ball higher. Jumping high, swinging hard, and hitting the ball low. That's a recipe for disaster. Into the middle, and a tip. So France, the freshman from Carmichael of California. And Michelle France hitting over 600 right now for the match, quietly having a very nice play out of the middle. 13 to nine Huskies. Candice Lee got it up. Tomasovic, a bump shoot. Back set, Eggert. Eggert, that play was actually invented by the Chinese women's national team back in the late 70s, early 80s. And right now, Laura Collins and Amanda Eggert have it wired. Yeah, backslide. Backslide. It's a beauty when it works. Of course, when you have uh, someone like Long Ping, the great Chinese national running it in the 84 Olympics, it worked just about every time. She was good, and this time Ann Watts-Roberts with another big block, one-on-one -on, -one on the outside against the hot-hitting Caitlin Leck. Huskies by two, 13 to 11. Along with Mike Dodd, I'm Chris Marlowe. We made the drive, we're here. Washington winning game one, Oregon State game two. This is pivotal game three. Huskies lead by a couple. Good volleyball match between uh, two solid Pac-10 teams. The Huskies rank 13th in the nation. Oregon State with a record of 12 and six and a chance to make the NCAA tournament this year. Chris, you mentioned it earlier. Oregon State needs to get a good win against the top-ranked team in the nation, and this would be a feather in their cap early on in the oh, yeah. season. Be a huge win. If you're going to beat a ranked team, better chance to beat them at home. Ball Inadvertent on. ball rolled on, and so they're going to replay here. I'll tell you, Rhodes seems to be kind of jabbing at that, that tip shot instead of kind of feathering it over. She's just so strong and so yeah. powerfully built. She hasn't really developed the finesse Touch. part yeah, of cool. the game yet. 14 to 11. She sure can jump and hit. X play. Huskies have it. Tomasevich. And smacking it through. Amanda Eggert. And Laura Crowan seems to force it a little bit right now to Kara Rhodes. She's got to keep feeding Amanda Eggert yeah. in the middle. She's unstoppable right now. Got to feed your big players so they block for you. You give them a little meat. I remember when I used to set Steve him. Salmons, set him a lot, and then he blocked he four hungrier. or five balls for you. Yeah, he loved that. You don't set your big players, they don't block as well. Tomasevich, K.C. Frederick, St. Louis, Missouri, the senior. And Washington gets its 15th point. That's a 
Sonia Tomasevich a little frustrated right now reading the body language. Oregon State picking up a lot of her shots. Frederick Shank, Lawrence goes and gets it. Frederick out of bounds. That's not going to make the KC Frederick highlight film. It sure won't. This year. It sure won't. Frederick, uh, 168 digs. That's her 18th reception error. So into the middle, Rhodes taps it. Candace Lee, beautiful. Rhodes, Candace Lee again. Boy, you talk about textbook passing and digging. Watch Candace Lee. And a lift call. Oh, that's a tough call there for Laura Collins. Oregon State a little discombobulated right now offensively, just uh, not really in sync. There's a good look at Candace. She is just, she's got the platform out. She's very, very fast from the back. 17 12. Beautiful. The ensuing serve goes right into the bottom of the net. Tough break for Caitlin Leck. It's one of those moments where you've got a team in trouble. You want to keep that serve in and keep yep. the pressure on. Now serving Kara Rhodes. Tomasevich. Nice up. Lawrence Rhodes. Skipping it over is Frederick. Down the line, Hammer. Kara Bjorklund. Bjorklund now with 10 kills. Pretty good balance for the University of Washington. And this is one of those plays, if you're blocking on the outside there, Allison Lawrence, you've just got to make that extra step to the outside when you see that swing set coming. 18-13, the Huskies have the lead. Lawrence, oh, nice shot. That was a beauty. There was about, well, about 12 inches of line, and she put it right through there. Very slim margin of error, and Allison Lawrence taking advantage. A smart outside hitter knows where that okay. setter is, ripping over Courtney Thompson down the line. Eggert with the serve. Thompson goes out to Hegarty who shoots line. Lawrence, Lawrence got it. Lawrence hitting just 210 on the year. And that time she got the break. Allison Lawrence gets a lot of sets on the outside. A lot of pressure on her to deliver. Right now she's mixing it up well with a little work off the net. You want to have success, you have to have a good coaching staff. Jim McLaughlin does. Uh, Pat Stangle is number one assistant. And down the line, you see Leslie Tui Asasopo, one of the great uh, players in Washington uh, history. Uh, uncles, dads, brothers, all great uh, uh, football players. Marcus Tui Asasopo. And, uh, Paying her dues on yeah, the bench. That's right. What a hitter she was. She was a middle blocker, as I remember, and she could block out the sun. Big. Big play there by Courtney Thompson, saving that overpass. There's Leslie. Say it. You can't say it <laughs> her last name, can you? That's why you get the Tui Asa Sopo. Say it. Tui Asa Sopo. Tui Asa Sopo with the drive. That's how we used to say it back in the day. 1915. I'm Chris Marlowe with Mike Dodd. Glad you're with us. Pretty good volleyball match. Tied one game apiece. Pac-10, the best conference in the country by far. Pac-10 just racking up the top 20 teams. USC, the number one team in America. Stanford's four, UCLA is eight. Cal is nine, Washington is 13. That's a good lineup. And Darla Myrie just making another nice loop behind there, ripping cross court. 20 to 15, Washington. Rhodes tip, that's a little bit better. Oh, she stepped on the, the line. line yes. Explain that rule, Mike, front court, back well, court. Well, when you're hitting from the back court, you have to stay behind the 10-foot line there. That time, Kara Rhodes just putting her foot on top of the line as she made her attack. Serve into the bottom of the net. So, Donka Danicic 
who just came in. Let's take one more look. Here we're gonna see her left foot just yep. hitting the top of the line. Easy call for the referee to make. One of the easiest calls for a referee to make in volleyball. 21-6, that's the only call he can actually see. <laughs> You know, that and a chuck. And the old chuckaroo. Spoken like a true player. 22-16. <laughs> Our score. Haggerty with 14 kills to lead her squad. And set to serve it is Thompson. Collins sets left. Nice up. Oh, is that unbelievable. Courtney Thompson with a left-hand pancake. And a score. Courtney Thompson, the floor is the skillet, the hand is the spatula, the ball is the flapjack. And Look Chris at this Jim, left hand, watch this. And Jim McLaughlin oh. said that big defensive plays win games for you, and that time Courtney Thompson delivered. The best left hand pancake you will ever see by a right hander. Smacking it through is Lawrence, and Lawrence with her ninth kill. So. Allison Lawrence had 18 kills the other night in a big Pac-10 win. Remember, Oregon State has won three in a row, trying to make it four in a row. Going back to the middle was Washington State. Oh, and bumping it out of bounds. It's another play that won't be in the highlight film. 24-17, frustrating kind of play for a heady ball player, Nancy Samara, the former Nancy Hillman. Collins, back set. Washington's got it. And down the line, and you can feel Washington assuming command of this match. Taking charge in game three, Oregon State making some errors more reflective of game one than game two, that's for sure. We're tied one game apiece. But the Washington Huskies starting to flex their muscles. Game three, 25-17. A former star at the University of Southern California. She's in her fifth year here at Oregon State. And uh, a little bit earlier, she talked to us about coaching her young team. This is what she said. You tend to get real fundamental with the freshmen. And during preseason and double days, I saw such a um, positive impact on the veteran players as well. And it kind of reminded me, hey, you know, it doesn't matter how old you are, how many matches are under your belt. You still need those fundamentals. You sure do. Pass, set, hit, dig, platform, serve it in, that kind of stuff. Right. Chris, you know, you see so many changes in volleyball in the scoring, in the size yeah. of the court, this or that. It still comes down to fundamentals. If you, can't, if you can't pass, you can't play volleyball. And now, in the indoor game, you've really got to be able to hit the jump serve, put pressure on, and play the defense. Bad pass by Candace. Popped up by Thompson, free ball. Collins steps in, back set, nobody there. Left. So Chris, Oregon State continues to be a little out of whack in their transition play. Don't forget that football game coming up right after. It's a thriller, Nevada, Washington. 26-18, the Purples are leading. Serving Libba Lawrence from West Lynn, Oregon, coming around. This has been automatic. Every time Oregon State has been able to run that play to Eggert, it's been almost 100% successful. <laughs> Amanda Eggert giving Courtney Thompson a nice little hello here. Bang. Uchi. <laughs> That's a shotgun blast. Uchi Coochie. <laughs> She's tough, though. Courtney's going to come yeah. back and take it. What an outstanding catch for a freshman. This connection there, the first one, trying to get the ball to Bjorkland, and maybe a run now for Oregon State. 26-20 as the Beavers try to catch up. Up 
high was Rhodes. That set. Very nice footwork there for Kara Rhodes. She took that extra step. She moves out to the outside, gets up, and penetrates over. Makes a big block. Oregon State, not out of it yet. Collins tried to juke it over. Rhodes missed it. So Rhodes hits it out. It's 27 21. Game three, serving Caitlin Leck. Back set, Eggert. Eggert is just on fire. She's just working all the angles. That time the block was on her. She works a little dink over it. Just hitting smart, playing well. 12 kills for Eggert. Now serving is Rhodes. Nice high hit there for Sonia Tome. Masovic over the block, deep cross court. Outside hitters, bread and butter. And she's getting that quick uh, set to the outside, so she doesn't have much to deal with blocking wise. Tomasovic will serve Lawrence. She gets it back. Thompson back set, Leck. Beautiful dig by Rhodes. Lawrence down the line, got it. Allison Lawrence, the junior from Alta Loma, gets the kill. Born at Mammoth Mountain, California. Big snowboarder, this time nice little cuff down the line. 28-23. Quick set left. Rhodes is there. Collins tries to slam it. Thompson back line. Long rallies have favored Oregon State. Will it hold up? No! Hagerty with the blast. Bree Hagerty blasting. Courtney Thompson running the show right now has really settled this Washington team down here in game three. First game point coming up for the Huskies. Serving is Donka Danicic from Yugoslavia. First serve was right in the bottom of the net. This one goes over. Lawrence, nice dig, Candace Lee. This could be it. Hagerty for the win. Not yet, Frederick paws it up there. Collins sets left. Lawrence, dug by Candace Lee. Out of the back line, tip. Not yet, Lawrence is there. And dinking it out was Haggerty. No touch, detected. Washington just all over the referee there. Look, looked to be a big touch there. For Laura Collins. Let's check out Laura Collins. Does she touch that ball? Good, smart senior player. Always wave no whether you touch it or not. Second game point for the Huskies. And Haggerty says, take that. That's it for game three. Haggerty with her 16th kill. And of the terminal, Variety. We're coming back to Slats Gill. The Huskies lead it two games to one. Don't go away. Slats Gill Coliseum, Pac-10 Women's Volleyball. Huskies leading the match two games to one. Part of the atmosphere. Chris Marlowe and Mike Dodd with you. Uh, Huskies asserting themselves in game three and uh, taking the statistical lead was UW. Chris, taking a look at the stats. University of Washington taking a big lead in kills. I think the kill factor starting to play big for Washington. Came out, established themselves in game three. Oregon State 
you're Nancy Samara, you just got to tell your team you're still playing defense. Didn't really play that bad in game three. Just made a couple of critical errors at crucial times. They can settle themselves down and rally with Washington. Yep. Play the defense. Yep, yep. They can stay in this. Washington is 10 and 0 this year when they have hit over 300. They are batting 299 at the moment. 299. So we'll figure out if they do win this match at four. Did they go over 300 for the 11th straight time? Oregon State hitting well, 274. Well That's a them. great percentage for them. And Amanda Eggert, yeah. 667. Eggert is having the match of her career. Hasn't been a whole lot of blocking in this match, has there, Mike? Not a whole lot a of blocking, bit. but a lot of defense. Yeah, a lot of digging. Collins back set, and Eggert smacks another one. Eger just finishing right here, ripping that ball inside the 10 foot line. Nice start for Oregon State, just what you want. Over the top goes Haggerty. And Chris, there's a good example of Bree Haggerty becoming a more finished player. Using a little bit of finesse, taking a little bit off it, and just cuffing it off the top of the block. Serving is Thompson. Down the line, nice shot. Caitlin Healy getting big out on the left side. She's played almost every position this year. She's played a little bit of libero, a little bit of outside hitter, a little right side hitter, that time teeing off on the left side, trying to infuse a little energy into this Oregon State team. Collins sets left, Lawrence. And Lawrence goes off the block and out. So the Beavers trying to extend Washington to five. It's a nice way to do it. There you see Allison Lawrence just tooling the block, out of bounds. Yeah, that brings up an excellent point. I'm going to make it right after this play. Coaches tell you that they'd rather have you hit it in the block rather than hit it out or hit it in the net. And that last play was an example why. She hit the ball into the block and the block wasn't there and it went off the hands. She got a little bit lucky and got a play out of it. You hit it out, you have no chance. Hit it in the net, you have no chance. Exactly. You hit in the block, you bring in all the options to yourself. Hey, if you get stuff, someone might even cover it for you. Tomasevich. She's been chopping it around a little bit. She hasn't been at her best. I don't think she's 100%. We detailed earlier in the match that she was playing with a sore arm, sat out last night's match. But Chris, such a smart, experienced yeah. player. She still finds the holes in the defense. Beauty, right on the line. 3-3, three, three, game four. And Lawrence, they finally block Lawrence. Darla Myrie unofficially with seven blocks. So she has played very, very well. He has a chance to be a big star in this league. She just gets up big there, fills the gap. Collins, Eggert. Eggert's career high, if you're wondering, is 18 kills. Eggert now has 14. So she's four off her career high. She had her career high against UC Riverside back on September 5th. So this would be, wow, she gets her career high against Washington. That's a much better number. Ball is dug and Collins can't get there. And it really, the onus is on Laura Collins as the setter to just keep feeding her until she gets stopped. So far, unstoppable. Five more sets should do it, wouldn't it, Buckwheat? There five more sets for four kills or maybe five kills. Now, Liva Lawrence will serve. Had 133 digs a year ago. She already had 130 digs coming into this season. And I don't believe it, for the second time, Oregon State out of is rotation. out of rotation or has an overlap. The front row cannot be in front of the back row and vice versa, and the left side players can't be inside the right side players. And Nancy Samara is a little heated over there on the sidelines right now. And she's saying, I, you, either I don't know what you're talking about or you don't know <laughs> what you're talking about, as I think. Replay. Nice to see the referee able to admit they make an error once in a well, while. Collins is definitely in the front row now. So I wonder if one of the other, the other left front, uh, it could have been Lawrence. 
Lawrence is in the front row and she cannot be behind a back row player. The put away. Whatever the case, Nancy Samara argued her point well, but to no avail. As Sonia Tomasevic continues to chop, cut, do everything yeah. but put heat on the ball, but hitting at a nice percentage right now. Six to four, our score. Washington, they'll set out to Lawrence. And that ball did not come up, according to Mickey. Mickey Matthews up top. Mickey's a big guy, so no one gives him any crap. There's a lot of heat going Mickey's way right now. No, nobody ever challenges Mickey. Now, set to serve, Laura Collins. Collins, a senior from Milwaukee, and she serves it out. Collins has been an all Pac-10 honorable mention. She averaged 12 and a half assists last year in Pac-10 play. That was second. Chris, also Pac-10 all-academic for Laura yeah. Collins, and the onus is really on her right now to settle her team down and reestablish order. Candace Lee digging a lip, bouncing it off the tape. Frederick is there. And over the top, yes. Yeah, Watts Roberts back into it. And, and Chris, if you're a setter for Oregon State, if you're Laura Collins right now, how do you get order back? Go to your guns, go to your big players right now. Yep. And Watts Roberts delivering on the Egger. outside. Keep the ball on Egger. Yep. Lawrence with a pretty good serve. Tomasovic rejected. Michelle France. Michelle France again quietly playing a great match right now for Oregon State. She moves out, presses that left hand over into the into the angle. Putting the roof on one of the best hitters in the Pac-10. 7-7, Lawrence again. Good, strong serving. Tomasovic takes the quick set, snapping down the line. And that's just a sweet set there by Courtney Thompson. Pass a little off, it was a good jump serve. She just puts this ball out on a platter quick enough for Tomasovic to just rip this ball down the line. Tomasovic now with 16 kills. Her career high is 32. Had that against UCLA. Collins tip. Nice up. Recovered. Sometimes it's a little plays that keep a rally going. 8-7 Huskies. Husky block, chasing, chasing. Give the block to number 10, Bree Haggerty. So Haggerty gets her first official, well, first of unofficial stuff. And Chris, since the break, Oregon State has really been out of whack in their transition. They just are not running smoothly when they have point scoring opportunities. Not running the tricky play. Haggerty, nice block by Oregon State, double contact. A double contact, you can have double contact or a mismangled ball on the first contact, but on the set or second contact, you cannot. It's gotta be a little smoother. Oregon State still in this game four. Gotta settle down to be smoother in transition. Washington leading two games to one. Pac-10 women's volleyball here on Fox Sports Net. Look out. And you can't do that on the third contact either. You can do that on the first contact. I'd like to see him clean up that Not, first contact. Yes. I don't believe you should be able to just mangle it up there. Maybe on a driven I ball, agree yes. With you, Chris. I think clean up the sport just a little bit. But it does make for some interesting rallies, doesn't it? Interesting rallies. Yeah. 10 8. Huskies. Collins, Eggert, Candace Lee got it up. Eggert, yes. Automatic Amanda. Keep feeding 15 her. 15 kills, three off for career high. We're only in game four. Got a ways to go a little bit. That's Just not her shot either. That's that simple high school volleyball <laughs> right there. A little two in the middle. Yeah, I too. Staple of uh, volleyball in yesterday's. Haggerty. Tell you what, Haggerty gets one on one. You can forget about it. Just hits such a heavy ball. So now Haggerty with 19 kills. And I believe that ties her career high. If I'm reading my notes right. 19 kills for Haggerty. So this has been a terrific match for a lot of players, team wise and individual. And tapping it through is Healy. There's not much blocking in this game. Nobody ever blocks one. Everybody just is ripping it. Players hitting over 500, 600, 700. Last away. I love it. And this time, Kaitlyn Healy just taking a little off it, chopping it down. Healy will serve it. 
11-10. Collins has it up. Lawrence. And that block is good. So give the block to Myrie. Myrie now with eight blocks unofficially. This is a ball that Oregon State needs to cover. Big point for Washington. Huskies up by two. Collins. And they finally block Amanda Eggert. And the veteran, Sonia Tomasevich, reading that play behind the setter, getting over big. Yeah, you want to go cross court and try to block cross court and make her shoot down the line, because that's a hard hit on one leg coming and hitting it down the line. Trouble there. Trouble, trouble. Pass off the net. Eggert couldn't get there. Point Washington. So now. Nancy Samara, her husband Ben, Michael Seaman, the coaching staff concerned. This match slipping away a bit. Laura Collins needs to settle down the offense. They go to Eggert. She hits it down the line, dug by Haggerty. Tomasevich. Frederick with the dig. Nicely done. Left side Lawrence. Candace is there. Thompson back set. And the put away. Caitlin Leck. Leck with her ninth kill. Caitlin Leck just quietly being strong over there on the right side, this time taking a little off, just to cut into the middle, open spot of the court, point for Washington. 13th ranked Washington, and the Huskies looking good right now. So Washington looking to get its second win in a row and stop a three-match win streak. How strong is the Pac-10 this year? Obviously the best conference, but every weekend you are tested in the Pac-10. You're tested in the Pac-10. Uh, you know, USC, you know, I would say they're a notch above everybody else. Seems just like so a strong, bit. so big. But after that, I mean, uh, it's it's a dogfight. You've, you've got a lot of tough teams. You've got UCLA, you've got California. California, I think, has surprised a lot of people undefeated to this point. They have a big match uh, at Stanford. California, Mia Yerkov, uh, it shows the value of having one or two international players on your team. They just seem to add so much stability to a young team. They just, you can tell it here for Washington. Sonia Tomasevich just yep. is a calming influence on all the players. You talk to the players before the match, they all say, when she's on the court, we just know everything's yep. going to be all right. That's the voice of Mike Dodd. I'm Chris Marlowe. Washington leading 15 to 10, game four. Oregon straight trying to hang in. Lawrence, there's a nice play. That's a call play. They bring the uh, left side hitter instead of setting high outside, bring her inside for that little two up. And a much needed good side out yep. point coming out of a timeout for Oregon State. 15 to 11. And lift called on Courtney Thompson. So Thompson with the left, Oregon State with two quick points. Eggert will continue to serve. Tomasevic, Rhodes is there. And the tip, so three in a row for the Beavers. Allison Lawrence starting to mix it up nicely on the outside, mixing heat with finesse. 15-13. And Washington takes timeout. So good news for Beaver fans. The Huskies have taken timeout. We're coming back in a moment. Huskies lead game 4 15 13 Amanda Eggert the 6 4 junior from Portland Oregon has been virtually unstoppable in this match Chris, she's got a hitting percentage right now hovering near the 600 percent she is just so high on her percentage and so unstoppable in that little swing behind the setter and give credit to her setter Laura Collins for knowing how to feed the big woman. She is doing it, and Eggert putting together one of her best matches ever. Front set, it's dug by Oregon State. Beavers have three points in a row. Or Candace Lee with a great dig. Courtney Thompson gets in. 
Another dig. That was Eggert. Tip. Washington there. Haggerty, where you're supposed to be when your blocker jumps. Lawrence, hit it out. And Washington, give credit to Bree Haggerty. They tell you in Volleyball 101, if your blocker goes in front of you and jumps, you have to get the tip. And she was there. And Chris Candice Lee, again, quietly yeah. just playing incredible defense behind that block. So Mike Dodd like defense. That's like digging some lips. Washington over 300. As we mentioned, 10 and 0 when they hit over 300. Lobbing down the line is Lawrence. Another smart shot for the junior, Allison Lawrence, cuffing down the line. Both offenses have been good. Washington's been a little bit better. That's why they lead this match two games to one. Serving now, Laura Collins. Smacka in the middle, Kara Bjorklund. Bjorklund with 11 kills. Bjorklund just looking big here in the middle, but Courtney Thompson reading the blockers, making the right choices in the setting position. Serve out of bounds by Leck. So the Beavers will have it. Allison Lawrence putting up some terrific numbers. She's got 15 kills and a couple of blocks to check her career high. Shank pass and the lift. Yeah. So that's a service winner. Right when you think Washington's about to take control of the match, Chris, Oregon State makes a couple big defensive plays, a couple good serves, and gets themselves right back in it. And then, like many young teams, they fail to apply the pressure when they could. Service error and rally scoring cost you a point. 18-16, UW, Tomasevich serving. Collins out of the back line. This has got a block covered up nicely. Into the middle, Thompson, yes. Bjorklin, yes. Bjorklin with a great high quick hit in the middle, just ripping it deep to the corner. You like that word ripping, don't you? Ripping it. Pounding. The shoe fits. <laughs> Gollin sets left. Husky, sock it up. Free ball. Thompson tries to jam, socks it up. Tomasevich, KC is there. And a good fake by Haggerty. Point, Huskies. Another nice choice there for Candace Lee, just setting a little 10-foot line there to Sonia Tomasevic in the middle. Another big point for Washington, taking control of the match. So Oregon State has to get its act together you mentioned how uh, Oregon State uh, a couple of years ago made it into the NCAA tournament with a record of 17 and 12. And uh, the same uh, win total could happen this year. I was looking at Oregon State's uh, upcoming schedule and they need to do some splitting. They need to split at home when they get teams in Arizona, Arizona State, uh, Oregon, Oregon uh, Washington, Washington State, try to get a win, uh, Stanford, and Cal, and then go on the road and do some splits. And last year, the Pac-10 took eight teams, so there's great opportunity. Yeah, it's tough in the Pac-10, but there's opportunity. And there. Oregon State, they play the defense. They have the athletes to compete out there. It's just a matter of your young players being able to concentrate over an extended period of time. And I think that's really the learning curve that happens with young volleyball players. It takes a while to develop the ability to concentrate over long periods of time. Beavers at Arizona and Arizona State next week. Got to get a win out there. USC, UCLA probably won't win there. At Oregon, there could be a That's win. Washington State and Washington. Got to get one there. Arizona State and Arizona at home. Maybe two. Maybe. Or at least get one. And then, uh, well, Cal and Stanford, that's going to be tough. But at the end of the year, they got Pittsburgh. So there's a formula for Oregon State to get into the NCAA tournament. And uh, it's right in front of them. They can get there. Usually that formula entails winning the matches you should win. Absolutely. And then stealing a couple yep. along the way. And if they do that, yeah. they're in the tournament. You get 17, 18 wins, you're going to be in there. But you have to get that one sweet win. Yeah. That one one where you go down and where everybody you beat notices. a ranked team. Yeah, and they go away. They beat somebody good. Off the block. This Washington team, of course, uh, ranked 13th uh, 
They already have a win over a very good Wisconsin team on the road. And uh, they're going to beat some Pac-10 teams. Uh, Jim McLaughlin's crew uh, in the NCAA tournament a year ago, and they figured it'd be back in it again this year. Could have beaten UCLA. Everybody said they should have beaten UCLA, losing in five. But hey, how about congratulations to UCLA and Andy Banikowski for pulling out some closes, road, yeah. yeah. Checking back in is Kara Rhodes. A dynamic jumping outside hitter, much like her coach, Nancy Somera, used to be. And she rips the jumper and the put away. So Rhodes sets up Eggert. Eggert with 16 kills. Here she comes. And it's 21 to 19. Nice up. Tomasovic is there. Trying to spike and get a hand, no. So Healy couldn't find a paw. It's 22 to 19. So Again, Washington closing. Yeah, and a tough break for Laura Collins. She's got to make better sets in transition right now to keep her team in this game. Courtney Thompson will serve it. Off the tape, Frederick on her tummy. Back set to Leck. Joust coming. Got a block was Myrie. Egger. 17th kill just got dug up, so it's not a kill. Can't dig up a kill, can you? Got to put the lid on it. Over the top is Healy. In the middle, Haggerty. Egger with the drive. Amanda Egger, 17 kills, one shy. Oregon State right back in, and I guess you can dig up a corpse, but you can't dig up a kill. Huh? Nope, you got to terminate a kill. 22 20. As the Beavers coming along. That's an ace! A Beaver ace! Just quietly keeping the pressure on. Oregon State right back in this game. Serving and Eggert. A nice recipe. 22 21. One more look. At the let ace. Another point for Mr. Net. We're back, 22-21. Sandra Tomasovic, after a slow start, been rolling a bit. Michael, she's got a lot of shots. She's got all the plays, and she's just so experienced. She makes the big plays at the big time that time, coming up with the block, and now hitting balls from the 10-foot line all day long. We're in game four, if you just joined us. Huskies leading the match two games to one. Chris Marlowe and Mike Dodd off the tape. Washington will get it back. Amanda Egger, number 21 in white, has 17 kills. Her career high is 18. Will she get it right here? Will she run the slide? Will they set her? Let's see. There's the pass. Set left this time. Lawrence rejected. Caitlin Luck there. Pass wasn't quite good enough to get that slide out there. Laura Collins has got to find a way right now to get the ball to Amanda Eckert. Set Amanda. Serving is Haggerty. Here it comes right here. No, oh, they set left. Lawrence off speed. Amanda was set. Shoots it left side. Lawrence. Not yet. Set left Lawrence. And she rips it off the block out of bounds. Good shot. Using the block. Allison Lawrence learning yeah. in the trenches on the outside. She's facing a big block out there and finally tools it down the line out. 
Yeah, you don't have to hit it into the bottom of the block and get stuffed. You can hit it off the hands, out of bounds, you tool can, the block. You can hit it soft, and that's one of the things uh, Nancy Samara said is so hard to teach a young player is when you have a trap set, you don't always have to just blast away. Hit soft against the top of the block and let your team cover you and take another swing. 24-22, Haggard now in the back line. Pretty good serve there. And a free ball coming. Eggert in the back line now, so she can't spike. Set left. Lawrence! I tell you what, that play has really faked out Washington a bunch. When you bring the outside hitter inside on the two, Allison Lawrence is just ripping that ball. And these are the kind of transition plays that Oregon State needs to make. Serve out of bounds. That is just a tough break. Got to keep the pressure on right there. 25-23, there's no good time to ever miss a serve. That was a tough one. 25-23 now, Libba Lawrence will serve it. Lawrence, three aces on the year. Quick set, blocked. Tomasovic tries to jam long, Rhodes has it. Set left, Lawrence, blocked. And Washington touched the net. The Huskies chomped on the net. And Lawrence was about to lose it. She thought they, they were calling that the ball didn't cross the net. Instead, Washington in the net. Might have had a good argument for that. 25-24 now. Beavers down by one. Tomasevic, she'll get it, won't she? No. Leck blocked. Candace Lee there. Tomasevic shoots it through. Nice dig. Oregon State can tie. Candace Lee, no! Oh, double contact. Double contact. Courtney Thompson out of position, and the Beavers have tied it up. Oregon State, you've got the momentum. Don't miss your serve. Perfect pass. Smacking it through was Bjorkman. You can see that Courtney Thompson has the ultimate confidence in Bjorklin. They've worked together, they've got that mojo. Especially here in game four, Bjorklin just hitting a monstrous percentage, just every ball in the middle going down. Lack jump serve, Frederick dives for it. Here comes Lawrence, and Lawrence hits it out. So Allison Lawrence hits it out. 27-25 Huskies now, three points away from victory. Concentration, Oregon State needs to get a pass right here. Lack. Spins it up, pretty good pass. Set left, ball blocked. Nice set right side and tipping it off the hands was Michelle France. Smart move for Michelle. Michelle France making a lot of big little plays right now, keeping Oregon State in game four. Set to serve, Allison Lawrence, 27-26. Set left, Tomasevic. Frederick's got it. Chance to tie. Tip. Tomasovic spiking hard. Sonia Tomasovic. 28-26. There's your workhorse right here. Tomasovic keep getting fed, eventually chopping cross court. Can Oregon State get Eggert into the front line before it's too late? They need a ball down right now. Nobody there. Spinner. Thompson sets left, put away! Haggerty with 20 kills. That one with uh, some tundra on it. With some serious authority right now. She's gonna see the seam, just rip deep cross court. So the Washington Huskies and Jim McLaughlin, his goals to graduate every player, win the Pac-10 Conference, compete for the national championship, and develop players for the USA national team. Those are solid goals for any coach. I might be able to get three out of four of those. This year. This year. Jim said, we're not there yet. We're building. Got a couple stud recruits coming next year. He's got a young team. A Smart, talented setter. It's got Tomasovic coming back. He sure does. That. Haggerty's going to be a senior. He's going to lose Bjorklin, though. That hurts. 29-26. Glad you've joined us on Fox Sports Net. Fox Sports Northwest, I should say, for Pac-10 Women's Volleyball. Oregon State has put up a great fight. The Oregon State team's going to win a lot of matches this year.
But right now, it's Sonia Tomasevic and company. They're going to have a chance for match point. Three chances, exactly. So here we go, 29-26. Tomasevic will serve it. 28 aces on the year, but with a sore shoulder, she's serving a little bopper here. Let's see, floater. Match point. And it's off the hands, out of bounds. So Amanda Eggert comes back in for the Beavers, one short of her career high. Watts Roberts has got 15 kills. Second match point for the Huskies. Huskies put this one all down, it's over. Quick set, not yet. Ball dug, oh, and it's over. The Huskies have won it. Here at Gill Coliseum, Bjorklund with her 15th kill. And Bjorklund just so strong here in game four out of the middle, unstoppable. So Jim McLaughlin, the Huskies improved their record to 13 and four. Oregon State drops to 12 and seven. For Mike Dodd, I'm Chris Marlowe saying so long from Slatskill Coliseum. The final score once again, Washington takes down Oregon State three games to one.